Okay, here's another episode of Fun with Chemistry and Science in my shop. So I have an oil cooler. This is off of a Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. I love that truck. But what happens is oil sometimes gets pushed because of the high PSI of the oil pressure into the coolant system. And it's through this module that's an oil cooler. Now these are on things like c and BMWs. So a lot of vehicles have them. And I'm using acetone, which has a very low specific gravity. In fact, acetone at room temperature is the same pressure as 20 PSI of water. So what you can do is take acetone and a little funnel. And what I did is filled up the oil channel of this oil cooler. And I'm using this to see if the acetone leaks out of these ports into the water jacket ports, which are there and there. And I could do this with air pressure with high PSI, but I don't have a manifold to bolt onto this because look at all the ports in this. I mean, this is like a mess to uh, figure out. Um, I did check the ports here to make sure that the coolant side here doesn't interfere with the oil side, which goes into the oil filter there. But uh, my test here is gonna show me that, look, it's not leaking in. So I'm gonna say this oil cooler could be okay. Now, acetone evaporates very rapidly, so you wanna make sure to do this test quickly. And if you leave a pool of it outstanding, it not only smells great in your shop, but it also will disappear pretty quickly. So, um, and it'll strip the paint off your toolboxes as well. So be careful with it, kids, but this is a way to test not only oil coolers and things like that, that have water or oil through them for leaks. You can also do things like the exhaust manifolds on boats. And um, I actually recycle acetone a lot. And you see, I say rusty PSI test because I had this go through a bolt manifold. So, you know, it's good for testing, but you don't want to rub it on a surface that you're about to paint because there will be debris in it. There you go. Another way to use acetone in the shop instead of building a manifold to hook air up to this, which would have been costly and, and you know, not, not too ideal. Thanks for watching.